done. So question number 10. So we're given this expression, let me just take a minute. Okay, so the expression is x cubed minus one. And our goal is to factor this expression. So one thing you should recognize from this is this is a difference of cubes. Why is that the case? You can definitely see right away. Let me just use a different color. In this expression, we have the cubed over here. So we know the first term is cubed, but how come the second term is also cubed? Like, why is this cubed? So another way to think about this is this expression is equivalent to x cubed minus 1 cubed. We know 1 cubed is just 1. If you do 1 to the power of anything, it's just 1. So that's where you can say that this is a difference of cubes because we have kind of this kind of invisible cube. It's not written because we know this is just equal to one, but we can think about it this way. That's why there's a difference of cubes. So let's look at the junior tutor's answer and then we'll get back to this. The expression um, x cubed minus one is a special case of binomial. It is known to have two perfect cube terms. With a subtraction sign as the middle operation, this type of binomial is known as the difference of two cubes. Difference of two cubes is a special case of multiplying polynomials. So this is the general format, so I'll write this down here. So I'll write this in a different color, white and green. So if we had a cubed minus b cubed, so any two variables, any two numbers, you know, a variable and a number, we end up with this format, a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And this is a very important formula to know for a difference of cubes. And this helps us kind of factor x cubed minus one cube, because right away we can see just using this template formula, x is a and 1 is equal to b. So we recognize that x is equal to a and 1 equals b. And then right away we've kind of already set up this question to understand how we can factor this out. We really all, all we have to do is plug in these values into this template equation. So going on with the junior tutor's answer, so the first factor is a binomial which is the difference of the cubes. So they explain why the a cubed and b cubed are cubed. So if you take the cubed root, we end up with b. Same idea over here. And the second factor is a trinomial with the first and last term as the square. So they give you uh, the explanation of what the first term here is and what the second term is here, which is correct. And then they apply it to our expression here x cubed and 1 cubed and they plug in the values into the template equation so this is a little more elaborate ex explanation but really for this question all you need to know is this template formula so to kind of apply this so we know a minus b is x minus 1 and then a squared is x squared and we have plus a times b which is x times 1 which is just x, and then we have b squared, 1 squared is just 1, and this is the final answer. So we can look over here, we see that they got to the same answer over here, and we know that this solution is correct. So we'll mark this as correct, so correct answer, great job. But yeah, once again, Whenever you have a difference of cubes, you just go about it by looking at this formula. If you memorize this formula, you'll know how to get to that factoring, um, how to factor it. Um, essentially, it's kind of a you know a uh, generic answer because all you really need to know is this formula. But sometimes you end up with these type of questions where you just have to memorize this formula and apply it. 
All right, so we'll mark this answer as correct. And this will be the final answer. So this is question number 10 for our session. Okay, so thanks for tuning in uh, to this one class session. Hopefully you found these math problems uh, helpful and we were able to kind of clarify, you know, the uh, solutions um, to some popular math questions. If you need any more homework help or tutoring needs, you can always visit the oneclass.com website, visit the link in the description and subscribe to this YouTube channel to find uh, more content like this. Uh, goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next session. Hope you enjoyed.